Welcome to Latin Per Diem. This is the second episode from Augustine of Hippo. We're looking at his Confessions, Book 2, Chapter 4. Nec copiosus ad actum enopia, et ego furtum facera, volui et feci, nulla compulsus egestate, nisi penuria, et fastidio justitiae et sagina iniquitatis. Recall that Augustine was talking about theft, and in the previous sentence he said, paraphrasing, fur, furem, non patatur. A thief does not tolerate a thief. In this sentence now he expands on that idea. He says, neither does a fur copiosus, that is a rich thief, one that is filled with abundance. This is from the noun copia, which means an abundance or supply. When you add the suffix osus a uh, um in Latin, it means filled with. Nor does a thief that is filled, does he tolerate, we have to add in here the verb from the previous sentence, patitur, does he suffer or tolerate, adactum, here we have to add the object, furem, nor does he tolerate a thief that is driven adactum inopia, by lack, by want. This, of course, is feminine, singular, and ablative, and it's an ablative of means with adactum. Adactum, in turn, is a participle from the verb adigo, adigera, third conjugation. Nor does a rich thief, copiosus, tolerate a thief that is driven adactum by want or a lack. And, he says, I, ego, volui et feci, I, a theft to commit, both desired and I did it. The word order here, by juxtaposing ego and fortum, the identity of Augustine and the act of theft, highlights his state of mind and his guilt. Now, wolui and feki are both first singular, perfect, indicative, active verbs. I wanted it and I committed it. Now, ego has a modifier, namely compulsus. What kind of an I was I, Augustine says, I was one compulsus. Now this is a participle from the verb compello, third conjugation verb. Driven, now we have an ablative of means, nulla egestate. I put this macron, or long mark, above the A there to indicate that it is ablative, because all first declension ablatives have a, in the singular are long. The final syllable A is long. Driven by no poverty, no need or scarcity, nulla egestate. He says, except by one of a penuria, that's another ablative, a penuria and a fastidio of justice. That is a poverty and a contempt for justice. So he was lacking in justice and lacking in respect for justice. And this then would be an objective genitive. So this is feminine singular genitive. So what was he compelled by? a lack and, and a disregard for justice, and he was compelled by a surfeit, a being stuffed or filled with iniquitatis, um, a full abundance or supply of wickedness. This is what drove him to the theft, to the furtum, which he highlights here by placing himself directly next to it. Please join us next time.